Hey, what's up guys? It is Monday. Just got to the Mission Beach Yeti here. Just at pretty much the furthest south you can go below Mission Beach. Looks like we should be staying pretty dry here. So I'm just going to go up beyond. I'll go past uh, Mission Beach, Pacific Beach, and we'll see how far north I go before I decide to turn around. Want to at least get six miles. guys what's going on it is Tuesday morning uh, just about to do a road run real quick probably a bit of a shorter one probably gonna do just about five miles I think because uh, I'm gonna go on a hike this afternoon with my wife and my dog Five miles done. It's like an eight, ten minute pace per mile or something. Felt pretty good. Felt like I was cruising pretty good. So it's kind of nice not to wear a pack. Tried this old handheld bottle. It's pretty awesome for these like five milers. So that's cool. But yeah, I gotta get ready for work, and then we'll do a hike this afternoon. All right, have a good one. Hey, what's up, guys? Tuesday afternoon, just out doing some hiking with the fam. Saw you on the run this morning. Just doing a little extra, having fun today, because. Everyone's off of work for everything going on. So we're having a nice time just doing some mission trails. It's super nice out, as you can see. It is Wednesday, it is raining. Uh, just on lunch right now and gonna put in some time on the track here. Uh, yeah, there's one other guy out there running the track right now, so this should be pretty nice, pretty chill. Uh, probably gonna be out here about an hour. I wanna maybe do some uh, speed work, maybe some 400s and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see, see how we're feeling. Definitely gonna throw on the rain jacket because this is gonna be a wet one. So, all right, all right. Whew. That was a good one we got. Ugh. Did like a mile and a half and then did, I wanna say eight 400s, something like that. And then uh, jogged off the rest, got a little over four miles. Worked a lot on speed, so that was good. I think that was good training and got pretty wet. But uh, yeah. Got to do what you got to do on these ugly days. Still get it in, staying safe, and uh, yeah. Whoa. 
Well, something I didn't think about is that <clears throat> nobody opened the parking area for this uh, trailhead. Kind of makes sense since nobody's working right now with uh, coronavirus and everything going on. So I got to go down here and find somewhere else to park and run to the trailhead. There's some businesses down here, so this should be okay. All right, ended up parking up in this neighborhood. Probably like a half mile away from that trailhead. This would be a pretty good uh, hill to run up at the very end of the run. Just walking down it now, because I haven't really warmed up at all yet. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice little morning. So yeah, it's been a crazy week. Did uh, two running days on the track. Oh yeah, I never, I didn't even film on uh, my Thursday run. I did seven miles on the track that I ran the day before. This is gonna be a muddy one, guys. Really tried to work on my speed a little bit on those track sessions. And uh, something I don't do a lot of, I should do more. I kind of focus more on my miles I put in rather than like tempo runs stuff like that but uh I could definitely feel my lungs from those quick running days so I think it's been some good training we'll see should feel pretty good today um I'm not really sure if my marathon's even gonna be happening with everything going on and everything getting pushed back so I'm not really sure what I'm training for <laughs> so you know just for the sake of my knees and joints and stuff I'm probably not gonna be pushing much further than like the 13 to 15 mile range until I know I have a race I can do Ooh, here's a good little hill so yeah I might be switching to a bit of a maintenance phase and just maintaining the level of fitness I'm at basically now because you can only run a half marathon every weekend for so long before well, I mean some people do all the time but they're like professional runners not me <laughs> so we'll see Not gonna lie, I could get through this, but I don't really feel like getting through this. So we're gonna go back and improvise through all the trails that we've already passed. Cuz I just got these basic bitch shoes on and they're not gonna last through that. <laughs> all right, turning back. This is social distancing at its finest, guys. Nobody here.
What's up guys? Just made it up this hill of death behind me. Ended up doing a nine miler today. The trail I wanted to be in, I did a couple miles in there and then the mud and water just took over the whole trail. So turned back, ended up doing a good handful of miles on the roads here, but it's still Sorrento Valley. So those roads were very hilly. Made for a very uh, challenging run, very good run. Uh, some definitely over like a nine minute pace with all the technical stuff in the mud and stuff like that, but ran for about an hour and a half, a little over nine miles. And uh, pretty pooped. So it was a good one. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's to come. Not really sure what's gonna happen with my marathon that's supposed to be the end of May. I know everything's getting pushed back these days and it's definitely one of those spots where it could either be right at the beginning of everything getting back to normal or you know still being postponed and stuff like that so gonna probably maintain somewhere around the fitness level i'm at but yeah i also don't want to just wear my body out doing like a half marathon every weekend until i know when my race is so we'll kind of see we'll just work on doing at least five runs a week keep this long run long and we'll go from there uh still feeling good happy to be outside i know most people are bunkering inside but uh you know, they say as long as you're not around anybody, keep your distance. I think I only saw two people my whole run, one guy on a bike and one other runner. So all is well. I uh, hope everyone's safe and I'll see you soon. All right.